What's going on everybody? Today we're doing some performance benchmarking on our 670cc V-Twin go-kart. What is performance benchmarking? I don't know, but it sounds cool. All right, sounds good. Man, that thing is awesome. So like we said, we're doing some performance benchmarking. Now, what that means is we're gonna take it down the road and see how fast it'll go and also see how fast it'll accelerate compared to uh, before we did these modifications. We put dual carburetors on it, we put some race mufflers on it, we put a new steering wheel on it, all from gopowersports.com, links in the description to all those parts. So, um, but before we do that, we need to fix a couple of things that we overlooked last time. Yeah, so we put this duct tape in there to help with cooling because it had this top cover on it that helped keep the air all in there and it helped cool the motor, but without without some kind of guard up there. Oh, this is a disgusting, dude. Well, well you know why it's so disgusting. It's got oil on it. <laughs> yeah, all them donuts I was doing, we slung the oil out of that engine. Yeah. Because we don't have that hooked up to the, uh, oh, that right there hooked up to the, uh, that went to the uh, air box. Right. It's like a crankcase breather that uh, we got to figure out what to do with it. Yeah. Maybe but we'll do that another day. Today is all about tank. performance. Yeah, buddy. Um, now, we should have pods on there, on the carburetors, but we don't have access to them right now. They're, they should be in the mail, but we got to do this today. Uh, we got to put in the cardboard. Uh, yes. We yeah. are getting very inventive with our methods for ventilation or cooling. We upgraded from uh, from duct tape to the pizza box. We ought to use that uh, that that uh, garlic garlic container. butter container for something. Make a pod filter out of it. There we go. Do you uh, have any pantyhose? I feel like pantyhose would be a pretty good pod. Why filter. would you ask me if I have any pantyhose? I don't know. You're a weird dude. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Maybe it's because all the ladies that I've got are hanging around. Yep. You got all yeah. kinds of women's clothing. You down with the pizza box, man? Yeah, for, for now. I'm sure it'll blow up. Not the engine, but the pizza box. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks pretty effective. Yeah. To keep all the air in there so it'll be pushed around the sides of the engine here for ventilation, for cooling. We also took the mufflers off because we're going to do a top speed run with no restrictions whatsoever. That's right, with no mufflers, yeah, and no pods. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, probably not smart, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. We're gonna be going so fast that any dirt that gets thrown up by the go-kart will just be instantly behind it. That's right. Yeah. I'm gonna choke it. Although you might not need the choke because I just had this thing running a couple minutes ago. Oh, you did? Yeah, just for a second. And then I noticed fuel was pouring out of the, uh, the fuel line, so I put some hose clamps on them. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run as fast as I can down that way and as fast as I can back. I, I guess I'll turn around and, and just see what it'll do wheelie-wise. If we look at the video, what's wrong? <laughs> look at all that oil. Well, we got to do something about that. Yeah, we do. Anyway, what? 
what is what you is almost doing? almost crashed into those bushes. Huh? You almost crashed into those bushes. Those? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what it's doing that it's never done before. If we look at the footage, it is actually lifting up on the back tires. It's coming up so hard. Something's not quite right. It feels like it's either spinning tires, taking off, and not picking up the front tires, or we got something slipping. Okay. So either a belt or tires are slipping. Right. Um, okay. Because you noticed I, I was having troubles. Popping it up. Popping it up. Yeah. Um, and I could feel it. It Something was giving. Yeah. So it could be a belt or it could be tires. Right. Which, if it's the belt, I don't blame it at all. Look at all these tire marks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice how close I came to your Miata? Yep. <laughs> Too close, man. Because I was, uh, yeah. I didn't want to come out of it. Too close. Dude, it wanted to carry the wheels forever. We should invest in some real helmets. Yes, I agree, sir. I think this one's from 1995. Well, what year is that, Harley? 93. Did your dad get that new helmet? Yeah. I think no, he got, he got it, it used, but... I think he got it in 96 or something. And he probably got that helmet at that time. So I'm going to say that's a 96 model helmet. A little Don't bit out of date. Don't do what we do. All right, so now the mufflers are on. Uh, you can try cranking it, and I'll choke it if needed. Sure. Steering wheel is a lot more. Well, it gives you a lot more confidence than the last wheel. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it only started smoking when you hit the brakes hard. That's what it is, heavy braking. You guys are gonna see that video, this video, and notice that I probably didn't gun it for as long as Ike. Now I'm pretty confident that I reached the top speed, but I'm not ready to give up my life. I feel like my purpose on this earth has not been fulfilled yet, and I didn't wanna die. Have you noticed that, uh, the camber on the front driver's side wheel has gotten ever so worse. Yep. Yeah, yeah. More we negative. Are, uh, yeah, I was noticing when you were driving it that uh, 
I think we got something bending. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe it doesn't have a higher top speed, but it, it definitely pulls harder at mid and top end RPM. It feels like it. It pulls like, yeah. <laughs> I swear, when you're already cruising and you hit the gas, Yeah. It's it pulls harder than my uh, 212 does with a torque converter from a dead get, dude. Well, I thought it was doing better than that with the anywhere. Yeah, any yeah, with the muffler on it and straight out of the box. No, but I'm saying when you're already doing like 30 miles an hour. It, it feels like when you roll on the throttle from a from a good system good roll yeah it, it feels like it pulls a lot harder than it did before yeah like like before you hit the gas you went up for a long wheel you came down and that was kind of it yeah now it's like you go up you come down and like it's it's still pulling um, it, really hard when i was doing the wheelies it felt like it was carrying the wheelies far yeah uh i think we need to take a break and check how fast it really went sounds good 49 49 i'm gonna say 50 i'm being kind of optimistic maybe but sounds I good don't know. We're gonna do a quick little drag race between the 670 and my purple go-kart with a 212 and a torque converter, also from gopowersports.com. Uh, not sure how it's gonna turn out. Well, I am sure how it's gonna turn out. The 670 is going to destroy the 212, but it's gonna be interesting to see by how much. So, we're about to line them up and uh, give it a shot. we have time for today everybody if you missed our last video where we actually installed the twin carburetors the steering wheel and the mufflers be sure to check that out uh, today I think we we didn't really accomplish a whole lot unfortunately we saw that it doesn't go any faster top than it did wise. before yeah 47 but I think the acceleration speed. I think yeah. the acceleration is oh yeah uh, better mid-range uh, we might have lost a little bit on the bottom end but that I, that yeah. might just be the carburetors need to be tuned and synced better. Well, yeah, and, and the uh, uh, pods. So, right. Uh, yeah, so the carburetors are a little bit lean because they're wide open. Yeah. But it carries the wheels uh, farther. farther. The front tires stay up in the air a lot longer than it did before. So um, there is uh, a difference. Performance gain. Performance gain, yes. Yeah. But not top speed. I was. I was hoping we'd get like one or two mile per hour faster. Uh, yeah, there is a bat. I was hoping for one or two mile per hour uh, faster speed. I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but uh, there was no difference in the top speed whatsoever. So, oh well. I mean, it makes sense. The only way we're gonna get a higher speed at this point is raise the, raise the rev, which would be a terrible idea, or just put a smaller gear on, which would also be a terrible idea because well, I mean, this, this is not set up for high speed. No. This is a yard cart yep. for children from like 30 years ago. Yeah. We heard from Brian, the dyno guy, and he said that whenever we would like to take this thing back on the dyno, we are welcome to do so. That's very generous, generous of him. But uh, we want to make a couple more performance changes before we do that. Maybe like uh, an advanced timing key so we can run some higher, uh, higher, higher RPM. Not RPMs. Is that what a timing key is going to do? Yeah. It advances the timing so it'll turn up more. Really? Yeah. 
I don't you, know if you want a rod hanging out of your back? No. I don't either. So what else are we going to do this thing before it goes back on the dyno? We'll figure something out. It'll be fine. I guess so. Yeah. So thanks for watching this video, everybody. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check out our website, cars-cameras.com. Buy yourself a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt. We got a couple different varieties now, too. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Love the build. Yep. <clears throat> I shouldn't be disappointed, but I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't pick up any more speed. That's all that came out, folks. I had to spread that clamp out to get it on this muffler. I got this uh, little shim right there and we got it where she'll fit on there. I should be able to put